And good morning, good afternoon, good evening, everybody. Hello, hello. My name is Helmut Meshkowitz. I'm the founder of hostmarie.com. And of course, we are one of the largest resellers of 20i data center. We offer managed service and VPSCs as well, and several other solutions. But this video is created for our uh, our cloud users uh, who have reached that crucial size of database limit of one gigabyte. So let us go. Usually, you would go into your Stack CP dashboard, and you will see, hey, here is your, here is your, uh, here is your database, and oh, whoa, 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 it has, it has gone over, and now it becomes. So, so you will see this red bar. It means your database is larger than it is supposed to be. Uh, the limit of, of a single database at, uh, with, with our services is one gigabyte. You can potentially go over, but it means that we will send you a message and we will ask you, we'll open a support ticket, we'll ask you to reduce the size of that WordPress database or, or just that of that uh, database or we will suspend your account. So this is a serious matter. Please look after your databases. So in this case, in this case, uh, in this case, this is, uh, okay. Here is my, here is my Stack CP dashboard. And I'll show you everything from within. So this is a hobby, a hobby website of mine. Hopefully you can see what is written on the screen. Uh, it is for outlib.co.uk. It is an old, old, old classified website of mine, like this. And here is the, uh, let us, shall we go into the WordPress dashboard? Uh, the website lives the life of its own. And so I'll show, I'll show you what is what. So I cannot go into the users as it will show the, e uh, it will show the emails I'll show you just a little bit how big it is. So we have 49,000. So we have 49,000 users. We have, so this is a classified ad system. We have total number of 42,000 ads uh, in our memory uh, and published published live ads are 4,300. I have just, I have just used the timeline backups and recovered the website since a long, long, long <laughs> backup and yes so quite a quite quite a large uh, quite a large website and let us see what is the problem so first things first once you see i would I highly suggest you go into mysql databases and don't be afraid sign in sign in here if you don't see this if you don't see anything appearing here just click on that database just click on that database if there are, if you have many many databases here many, many databases here, then copy, copy your database name. It is also the username. And you will see here several databases. Just call, uh, just click Control F and you will find your database. Now, on the bottom, on the bottom of the page, let me make it larger. On the bottom of this page, now we are into PHP My Admin. In the bottom of the page, you will see the total size of your database. So it is 1.1 gigs. Be careful, be careful. If here, so here are only 52 tables. If you have lots of plugins, you will have many tables, and then you will have page one, page two, page three. Uh, at PHP My Admin, the total is showed only on the, on the tables that are displayed on this particular page. So if you had if you had three four pages, three four pages of tables here, then uh, this would be only the total size of this this page. You would need and then so once you are in here, these are your databases. Of course, uh, the most the most common one is WP Options. We know it is outlook.co.uk. Here is info at outlook.co.uk. We are going back and let us see so you can click on the size and now let us see which one is the heaviest one which one is the heaviest one so we can see uh, wp user meta so i uh, do you remember we have almost fifty thousand users so we have wp users itself it is small 17 17 megs but user meta is 430 megs Usually, this will not be your case 
as this is a specific case with my classifying ads and usually what usually you would have post meta post meta so usually you would have this one uh, so this table would, would have the so so post meta would have the most the largest value and don't worry some people have wt in the beginning some people will have different letters some people will have uh, numbers digits don't, don't worry about that just look for the last part and first things first you need to identify the largest one so we know these are so by this we can definitely know this is this is the usual wordpress stuff bloated database of probably of probably lots and lots of rubbish that can be easily cleaned so what do we do we do here let's close it down so uh, i will show you today two plugins so we are going here uh, you can see i haven't got many plugins at all add new so first things first wp optimize absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant so it is installing activate i love wp optimize and i highly highly suggest everybody using it i removed i removed this plugin just just before we uh, just before i started recording this video i wanted to show you how this can be done so you would click here either you would click here on optimize or here you can see a new here you can see a uh, yes new option here and you would go and click here now you're into your dashboard now look so have a look the first things first it says that you have post revisions 6200 post revisions in your database and here you go first things first yeah you can definitely clean these ones clean these ones. okay and run all selected optimizations so this is the first thing let us see how it goes and of course good morning everybody and uh, while while we are looking while while the system is working if you have any questions and any problems please open a support ticket at hostmarie.com you will see support tickets that is the fastest way how to get uh, how to get support for your issues okay and now it is optimizing database tables Bang, here we go so this is how i always start uh, cleaning uh, or, or and optimizing the database tables now it will go through alphabetically let us wait for the process to finish meanwhile i'll enjoy my i'll not pause the video okay optimizing first made them wp posts uh, wp taxonomy term at the terms Okay, okay. As you see, as you see, the more plugins you will have, the more plugins you will have, the more tables at the database you will have. Another thing, next thing I will show you now is, hey, what has, uh, how does your backend look, or how are there any? Let us let me use the proper words. Are there any leftovers? Are there any leftovers when you have? uninstall the plugin okay optimization is complete so pay us stage one is done now let us click here before we go and check the database size let us click here on tables and let us check what is going on here so we can click on okay refresh the data and let us go let us go everything looks good everything looks good and now we can see so i had and i know i definitely definitely now this so these are leftovers post methods good done you can remove that okay and here we go and now and now it shows the total size of database is 1.8 uh, 1.08 let us double check it sign in Okay. go to the bottom okay and it still shows what so 
before it was what 1.1 now it shows one gig so we have reduced the size a little bit little bit but still not enough uh one more thing this not these numbers these numbers do update once every 12 hours so if you don't see the change uh, immediately don't despair you need you need to click uh, you need to check the exact uh, size of your database um, either in php my admin or you can check it uh, you can check it uh, using different uh, database optimization tools okay and now let us go to the second to the second uh, to the second plugin add new this is a very very interesting plugin and it is called database database toolset also one more thing before you before you install any plugins make sure that they are that they have good ratings and they have been updated in a reasonable time if you see that the a plugin hasn't been updated for four five years i would not advise using it so install now now let us see what it can do to us activate bang okay now we can see a new new menu a new menu item here database toolset let's click on it now let us see what what it offers us so on optimizing you can check the total size here in the bottom you'll see here is the total size of your database in details and let us go to cleanup and drafts remove orphan metadata orphan post meta remove and of course you need to do backups <laughs> you need to back up the, your website before you do any of these actions we can see orphan uh, orphan post meta almost 800,000 uh, <laughs> records Let it remove. Bang. Okay. This is it. Optimize. Let us see the size. And the size should be smaller. And now. And now optimize. So, uh, what happens after when you delete? something from the wordpress uh, for, from the database you still need to run the optimization otherwise so one thing so there are two steps you remove so you remove you remove post drafts you remove you know you remove, you remove uh, unneeded things and after that you need to run optimization and now we can see this is what you have saved and this is now the size of your database let us once again let us refresh and reminder yes you do not see this number this number will not change immediately it will take up to 12 hours for it to change let us sign in let us sign in click here here we go voila and your database is so the size of your database is below uh, one gig and once again this is not a small website this is not this is this is definitely not a small website yes we have we we, we have we have lots of, we have lots of ads in in the back in the back end there okay yes that's it and of course please be careful please be careful when you optimize databases always do your backups and if you do not know how to do the backup uh, please go to timeline backups and you at your stack city you will see timeline backups and just make them make sure that you have a time make sure that you have a backup before you start working with your websites 
I hope, I really hope that this helped you. This, this video was intended for very, very beginners. And if, of course, if you have any problems, please open the support team. I'll be most happy to help you out. All the best.